My name is Odi Kaspi. Today I'll be taking you through reporting and performance max campaigns. So if you've if you're looking at this video, you probably use Performance Max already, so I'm not going to tell you anything about it really. Uh, but I will show you through some of the reports I have found to be useful. Um, so the first one is asset groups. Asset groups are your equivalent to ad groups. They're the ad that you created uh, with images and text combined together with... Um, audience signals, I think they call it, which is essentially your targeting. So you could be targeting keywords, you could be targeting audiences. In this case, I was running some keywords to reach new customers and I was running some remarketing to uh, reach remarketing audiences. And so essentially, at the bottom here, you can see all your products um, split between prospecting or acquisition and remarketing. Uh, and you can also see this for individual product groups. Um, so I found this really useful to get a sense of how much of the value of this campaign is generated from remarketing, how much of the budget is going to um, new audiences. In this case, it was uh, about a 50-50 split. Uh, it would be interesting to see if I added, for example, a second um, prospecting asset group uh, whether that would then be two-thirds towards new customers and a third towards remarketing. Um, try to experiment with that and let me know in the comments if uh, that worked for you. Um, the asset group report is not inside the asset groups. Uh, so it's actually inside listing groups, which uh, is where your products are going to be listed. Now, Keep in mind that uh, campaigns that don't have any products attached to them, campaigns without a feed, um, are not going to have this tab at all. So you can't actually compare asset group performance unless you're attaching a feed to this campaign with products. So just keep that in mind. Next one. Um, uh, in this one, I'm looking at two separate reports, uh, but I find this quite useful, so I just want to share this with you. So at the top, we have the same report, but just from a different campaign, a different account. This is your listing group report, and here you have all your products. Uh, and this bottom bit is from your uh, campaign overview. Uh, and in the campaign overview, you can see the total budget, uh, the total cost, and the total revenue generated. And you can also click these triangles to change the metrics here. Um, and in the products, you can see how much of that budget was spent on product ads and how much of the revenue was generated from product ads. So assuming that you're using Performance Max to um, replace shopping or smart shopping campaigns, this is actually quite important because you want to know that most of this budget is actually going towards products and not some static ad on search. Um, and this becomes even more important if a lot of your um, search terms are brand terms uh, in the campaign because essentially you could be paying for a brand search campaign um, and looking at your return on ad spend and thinking it's great, but actually your products are not showing. So in this case, uh, almost all of the budget went to product uh, and that is good because that's essentially replacing a shopping campaign. So you have to look in two tabs for this, the listing group tab and the campaign overview and just compare it, make sure that you're getting your impressions, your click, your budget and your revenue from where you expect it to come. Uh, next one, um, and I think this is the last one actually, is search terms. Search terms are in the campaign insights uh, tab. I think it's called Campaign Insights. I'm sure you've had a look at it. Uh, this one is a relatively obvious one to find. I just thought I'd share the um, results I'm getting from two different accounts here. So the top one is a shopping account and actually from all the conversions I can see um, that most of them are coming from brand terms. Now I've masked the actual search terms here to protect clients uh, data but uh, I've put these labels down here. So 27 of the conversions came from brand terms. Now, in a campaign that could show on any uh, Google surface, it can show on search, this is not great. So this means really uh, most of my um, 
budget and most of my results are coming from brand terms which is not very good and it's something that I need to find a way to tackle. Um, you can also click the triangle to view other metrics here. Uh, in this case uh, it's worth noting that the main product this company is selling appears within their brand name so essentially this might be a reason why the brand term is just showing so much. Um, and the campaign below is actually a lead generation um, campaign and there were no absolutely no um, brand terms when I checked it. Uh, I think I did check it uh, a while back and there were a few brand terms but in the last check there were no brand terms which is really encouraging. Uh, the search terms again masked uh, were all really really good and when I click these uh, little triangles here on the left then it opens up and it shows uh, more details about the search terms um, and they all seem really relevant. relevant. Uh, I think this is also helped by the website copy. The website is focused on one purpose, um, one type of uh, product. Um, I'm saying product, it's actually it's, it's, uh, it's in uh, real estate, so it's not really a product, it's um, a lead generation campaign. Um, and so I think, I might be wrong, but I think that uh, Performance Max could be looking at the landing pages and der deriving some of the information it needs for targeting from what it sees on the website and what it sees on the landing page. So the search terms were generally good, uh, the cost per lead was really good, uh, better than we had before, uh, and I checked these leads on HubSpot as well, which is connected to the account, to see the lead quality, because cheap leads are great, but were they any good? And they were actually really good, which surprised me. So. Overall, if I can sum my experience with Performance Max, I run it on some shopping ads and uh, a bit of lead generation as well. I've had kind of mixed results. The lead generation account I tried was really good. Shopping, sometimes it worked really well. Uh, sometimes it didn't work as well as shopping, so I paused the campaign and went back to shopping. As you probably know, if you try to run shopping and Performance Max at the same time, Performance Max is completely going to cannibalize your shopping traffic and you're going to get a pound or a dollar a day if you're lucky. Um, so you really can't run them both. So all these reports, I hope you found them useful. There isn't a lot much that I've managed to dig out of these, uh, this new campaign type, but I hope that um, Google is going to bring out some more reports uh, through the year as our Google rep has promised us. Um, so yeah, I hope you find this useful. Subscribe for more videos like this uh, and leave a comment um, below.